Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today you join me at the 2024 Mama Fall Fest and behind me, one of the first vehicles I decided to jump in is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter. And believe it or not, uh, just driving this vehicle for a few minutes makes me realize just how different this was from the TRD off-road that I had just a couple months ago on the channel. So I wanna do a very quick walk around tour of this one sitting behind me, then throw some cameras up on the inside, give you my first raw driving impressions and some of the sounds that this truck makes with the integrated snorkel is just insane. So the Tacoma Trail Hunter in front of us is finished in the bronze oxide exterior with the mineral soft text interior. Now this color is absolutely fantastic. You see it has a ton of metallic flake here in the sunlight. I think Toyota did a great job with it. Now starting at the front end of the Trail Hunter, you can see you're going to have full LED lighting for the LED projector headlights, daytime running lights, and fog lights down below with an additional LED light bar in the center of the grille with the bronze Toyota branding. Now coming around to the side of the Trail Hunter, immediately you can see you get a lot of the elements from the TRD Pro, such as the wider fender flares with the machined uh, you know, bronze accented wheels with the 33 inch all-terrain tires. Again, all of these changes for this vehicle are gonna be functional as well as cosmetic. And there you can see the suspension even has the bronze Trail Hunter branding and the upper control arm. And you will get the you know different suspension setup with two and a half inch lift and the old man emu uh, dampers and things like that. Mirror caps are going to be body color, cameras on the bottom with your LED turn set integration. They are going to be heated and do have blind spot detection. Trail Hunter branding will be found at the bottom of the two front doors, as well as additional rocker protection. And backing up to the side profile of this vehicle, this one has the five foot bed, but a six foot bed is going to be available as well. You have proximity entry on both of the two front door handles. And there you can see a lot of the changes out back, including the bed rack. You have the ARB aftermarket, uh, you know, elements for the rear steel bumper with recovery points, LED lighting on the tops of the side bed rails, and then you have the factory OEM LED lighting for the tail lamps, turn signals, brake lights, power up down tailgate, Tacoma branding with the black accents, trail hunter badge at the bottom, and there you can see the ARB aftermarket recovery points, steel bumper setup that still retains the parking sensors, and once again the iForce Max branding because this vehicle is only available with the uh, Turbo Max powertrain or the hybrid powertrain within the Tacoma's lineup. Now here on the passenger side of the vehicle, you're gonna find another exclusive element, and that is the intake snorkel that runs up the passenger side A pillar and provides some, uh, not only additional capability in terms of water fording and things like that, but also does change the actual sound of the vehicle and you know some of the turbo no noises you get, which we'll discuss here in a little bit. Now take a look on the interior. Once again, the mineral soft text, much of this is going to be a carryover from the other Tacomas within the lineup, just with different color accents, stitching, uh, you know, things like that exclusive to the Trail Hunter. Power driver seat with two-way power lumbar. You have that mineral color with the gold accent piping and stitching. And there's a look at the dashboard, which once again gets a lot of the same bronze and mineral accents. Now here in the interior of the Tacoma, I'm not going to go through this entire truck because once again, I do have a video of a TRD off-road on the channel. If you guys want to check that out in a little bit more detail, but all of the features and everything like that are pretty much going to be, you know, the same between that TRD off-road premium package that I had and this truck right here. You do get a black headliner, auto dimming, digital rear camera mirror with garage home link, overhead LED lighting, power sliding rear window. This one does not have a power sunroof. Okay, so you guys join me here in the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter with the i4 Max hybrid powertrain and that snorkel. <laughs> which you guys can certainly hear with the window rolled down. Now, uh, that's gonna be enough of that for this video, but uh, as you guys know, if you follow along here on the channel, you'll know I recently had, not too long ago, the 2024 TRD off-road with the standard nine hybrid powertrain. I had some certain opinions of that powertrain that it was just barely adequately powering the truck. And I think the hybrid uh, certainly brings it up a notch in terms of enjoyment factor, the overall effortless acceleration, probably uh, MPG increase as well, uh, you know, given you are you know, using some electrified power. But I am also curious about how the Trail Hunter drives with this different suspension setup. So we have a lift, of course, larger, about 33 inch all-terrain tires on this particular truck. 
and uh, already I can tell you it gives it a more traditional, you know, off-road, higher ride height, you know, center of gravity type of feel. But it's just a softer, more kind of comfortable ride because that's another thing that I, you know, noted in the TRD off-road video is that that truck had a fairly firm ride overall. So I cannot get over that intake snorkel. Uh, but this, you know, this truck obviously has softer suspension and I think on a daily commuting basis that's something that I would look for in a truck like this not to mention it's you know more uh, heavy duty off-road type of performance out on the trails which the trail hunter obviously gets its name from now some of the other highlights of the trail hunter trim level are going to be the partnership with the ARB so we have the ARB rear steel bumper the bed rack which you can mount additional accessories to and a few other bits around the exterior. This is in conjunction and in addition to the Toyota enhancements, which ultimately come from some of the other, you know, LED lighting setup, including the LED front light bar. We have the LED bed lighting on the sides of the bed. So if you're doing camping or any other outdoor activities, you can do all that with plenty of light around the exterior of the truck. And then of course it comes to the off-road suspension, which like I mentioned, includes the lift, some of the unique control arms and the front end. Uh, you even have Trail Hunter branding in the suspension, which is quite incredible. Then you have the bronze accent wheels, the larger wheel and tire setup, which is slightly more off-road capable than that of some of the other Toyota trucks, including that TRD off-road, which sits just below this in terms of kind of the off-road hierarchy, if you will. And then uh, the styling and some of the you know wide body flares from the TRD Pro certainly give this truck a presence that you won't find from a lot of other vehicles out there. So uh, I think in terms of how this sits and positioned within the lineup, Toyota did a very very good job, uh, kind of you know putting this between the TRD Off Road and that of the TRD Pro. Now of course this truck isn't cheap. It doesn't come in at a cheap price point. It does this one as equipped is going to be right around that 64 to 65,000 dollar price point, which, you know, for a mid-sized truck with this sort of capability is you know something to at least be aware of and consider uh, because at that point you are kind of encroaching on some of the um, full-size trucks, if you will, even in the off-road class. And as we're doing this review, there is a nice blue TRD off-road just like that one that I had on the channel. Now, in terms of overall visibility, uh, it's going to be very good, much like that of the other Tacoma I had. You have decently sized uh, side mirrors, forward visibility, no problem. The only real change with the Trail Hunter as well as the TRD Pro is going to be kind of the wide body flares that this gives you, uh, which you can see here out both of the side mirrors. It's not going to be, you know, more than a couple inches on either side really not a huge deal it should be very easy to navigate parking lots parking situations especially when you have the 360 surround view camera system which this truck does come equipped with uh, so really not a huge change in maneuverability and uh, everything like that from the normal tacoma trim levels uh, but it is going to be a slightly larger truck all around you know just due to its ride height the wider fender flares and you know some of the other off-road gear that it has to offer now putting your foot down it's quick but it's not what i was expecting to be honest it has a lot of power but it's not shockingly quick now some of that obviously has to do with the larger wheel and tire setup uh, this truck obviously you know has quite a bit of mass to move around in that department uh, it's not the most aerodynamic thing out there and i'm sure the way toyota's tuned this is like torque down low rather than ultimate you know top end performance so you have quite a bit of grunt when you get on it and it downshifts a couple times, but it's not going to win any races out there. That is for sure, but it's, I would say, much better than that of the normal 2.4 liter turbo that you'll find in the non-hybrid trucks. Stop-start system is pretty smooth. It is interesting switching into the hybrid or electric only mode as you're coming up to a stop. I think that is one of the benefits of the hybrid powertrain. Uh, is the smoothness and the more refinement you get of that, you know, stop and go system. And we're going down this hill here and you can see the truck actually did shut the engine off and we are cruising on electric only power. So we're saving fuel, trucks quite quiet here on the interior and just cruising down using the electric motor and the battery packs. Pretty darn cool. Let's see how much throttle application I can give it. 
before it actually comes back in. Yeah, you can basically just breathe on the throttle before it all automatically turn on the 2.4 liter turbo. But that's kind of, again, to be expected, much like that of the Land Cruiser that I featured recently on the channel. So make sure you guys check that video out and my driving thoughts and impressions as far as that goes. Uh, I would say the feel and the performance is, you know, somewhat similar to that vehicle in that, you know, it's much more off-road oriented, you know, obviously not going to win races, but uh, it's plenty quick for the average user out there and, you know, should net decent fuel economy, albeit probably not the best even, you know, with the hybridization. So we'll go ahead and give it another acceleration here on this road. Little wheel slip. It's so surreal to hear that snorkel right there by the A-pillar. With the windows up, it's not bad, but you do get kind of that vacuum sucking type of noise. And then you get that little, uh, you know, turbo flutter from the blow off valve in conjunction with the airflow. It is just, sounds aftermarket, let's put it that way, but it's from the factory here on this truck. And it is like, it makes you smile. I love that about it. But noises aside from that intake snorkel over there, uh, you get the normal amount of you know off-road tire growl here on these asphalt type of roads. It's actually a fairly quiet and pleasant interior. So I think as we start to come close to our final destination, my final thoughts on the Trail Hunter are, uh, well, it drives and rides much softer than that of the TRD off-road. I'm enjoying it just from the sounds that the snorkel and some of the turbo engines making. Um, I think, you know, the interior is relatively unchanged. I like this color combination with the yellow accent stitching, some of the other trail hunter badging around the interior and exterior. Um, I think for the mid $60,000 price point and the additional capability that it has to offer, I guess I understand why this truck is positioned where it is within to Toyota's Tacoma's lineup. Um, obviously doesn't give you everything that the Pro has to offer, but does offer a lot more than the standard TRD off-road. So I, I definitely see what Toyota is trying to do here. And uh, I would probably recommend taking a look at this truck if you are shopping at, you know, something over the $60,000 price point and, you know, want a lot of off-road capability because this thing is featured packed. And I think the Hybrid Max powertrain certainly adds some uh, additional benefits and enhancements to the Tacoma that the standard 2.4 liter turbo does not. Now, of course, you can get this engine and powertrain configuration in some of those lesser trim levels for an additional charge, but it does come standard in the Trail Hunter. So just do keep that in mind when shopping, you know, comparable price points and everything like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick uh, first driving impressions and walk around tour of the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down in the comment section below. I wanna give a huge thanks to Toyota for bringing their vehicles out to the 2024 Mama Fall Fest. Absolutely had a blast and uh, definitely a lot of unique vehicles, some of which I don't normally get my hands on with uh, for week long reviews that I can get to drive here during this event. So make sure you guys stay tuned, check out additional coverage here from the Mama Fall Fest coming over the next several days. And as always, I appreciate the continued support and allowing me to do these opportunities and hope to see you guys in the next one.